Welcome back. The Islamic Republic of Iran, one of the worst affected nations due to COVID-19 outbreak, on Saturday wrote a letter to Prime Minister Narendra Modi over how the efforts to fight coronavirus have been severely impacted by the US sanctions. President Hassan Rouhani in his letter emphasized that the fight against the coronavirus requires bolstering joint and coordinated regional and international measures adopting serious strategies and sustaining huge medical and care costs. The pleading for help from Islamic Republic of Iran comes at a time when the Iranian Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei had stroked a controversy by threatening India of isolation in the Muslim world. He had asked the Indian government to confront what he called extremist Hindus and their parties, saying the heart of Muslims all over the world are grieving over the recent communal violence in Delhi. Despite the anti-India and anti-Hindu stand, Iran has now approached India to fight the global epidemic in the country. Following the health emergency, Iran president has written a letter seeking India's help in tracking the global pandemic. This virus knows no boundaries and claims victims without political, religious, ethnic and racial considerations. He wrote to the world leaders including PM Modi, calling the act of continued sanctions when the world is fighting coronavirus pandemic as immoral. Iran's foreign minister Javed Zarif in a tweet wrote in a letter to counterparts Hassan Rouhani how efforts to fight COVID-19 pandemic in Iran have been severely hampered by US sanctions urging them to cease observing them. It is immoral to let a bully kill innocents. Viruses recognize no politics or geography, nor should we. In another tweet, Jarif has highlighted the severe shortage of medicine and equipment that Iran is now facing. The Iranian president in his letter to the world leaders has said that while the Islamic Republic has faced serious obstacles and restrictions emanating from two years of extensive and illegal sanctions, the US administration did not stop exerting illegal pressure on Iran even after the coronavirus outbreak started. Iran's envoy to the UN also called to the US to lift sanctions on the country and to depoliticize its approach towards efforts relating to containing the coronavirus outbreak. Meanwhile, 234 Indian stranded in Iran were successfully brought back to India on Sunday. This is the third batch of Indians to be evacuated from Iran. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe. And not just subscribe, ring the bell so that you don't miss any video from Telugu Daily 24.